Is Belarus joining the Ukraine war? Vantage with Paul Kisharma. Things are escalating in Eastern Europe as Poland accuses Belarus of violating its airspace. The Polish authorities claim that two attack helicopters from Belarus crossed over the border on Tuesday. This incident, if true, would signify a major escalation, considering that Poland is a member of the NATO alliance and Belarus is one of Putin's closest allies. A clash between these two countries could have disastrous consequences. Initially, when the first reports emerged on Tuesday, Polish residents near the border posted pictures of suspicious helicopters with Belarusian symbols. Poland denied the violation at first, but later, the defense ministry admitted to the airspace violation, citing the difficulty in detecting low-flying helicopters on radars. However, Belarus has a different theory, claiming that Poland changed its stance due to pressure from Western powers, implying that Warsaw is lying. The question arises, which side should be believed? If Belarusian President Lukashenko indeed ordered this provocative move, it would be a brave, if not reckless, decision. Lukashenko has allowed Russia to use Belarus as a staging ground and is hosting Wagner fighters. However, he has drawn a red line at officially joining the war, something Belarus has not done yet, as its soldiers remain inside their barracks. Poland, on its part, had warned about potential attacks from Wagner fighters based in Belarus, but Lukashenko denied such claims during his recent visit to Russia. The presence of around 1,000 Wagner fighters in Belarus adds complexity to the situation, and Poland fears they could be used to wage a proxy war. The situation gets more complicated when considering the history of mistrust and unresolved issues between Poland, Belarus, and Russia, dating back to the Soviet era. With Wagner fighters operating independently from Russia but with links to the Russian government, any attack by this group could be seen as a Russian attack, as per statements from Washington. The stakes are high, and any further escalation could have grave consequences. Poland is mobilizing around 1,000 soldiers to its border in preparation for the worst-case scenario. An attack on Poland would invoke Article 5 of NATO's charter, leading to NATO's involvement in the conflict. Belarus, on the other hand, has a guarantee of support from Russia, with Putin publicly stating that an attack on Belarus would be treated as an attack on Russia. This deep mistrust between Belarus and Poland, coupled with the backing of larger powers, creates a dangerous situation where personal scores might be settled. In such a volatile situation, it is essential for level-headedness and diplomacy to prevail. Irresponsible jokes and farts can only add fuel to the fire, and all parties involved must exercise restraint to prevent a further escalation that could have catastrophic consequences for the region and the world.